everyone, it's Mrs. Gately here for Online Storytime. Today's book is another new one to our library. It's called A Stone Sat Still by Brendan Wenzel. And it talks about when is a stone more than a stone? Sometimes it's just a matter of perspective and how time can change things and it can turn into so much more. So think about that while we read our story. One of the things I love about this book is the illustrations. I think the pictures are really, really pretty. A stone sat still with the water, grass, and dirt. And it was as it was, where it was in the world. There's the stone. And the stone was dark. Oh, look, he's even uh -uh. And the stone was bright. It's kind of a big stone. And the stone was loud. And the stone was quiet. It's like a nice place to rest. And it sat where it sat with the water, grass, and dirt. And it was as it was, where it was in the world. And the stone was rough. And the stone was smooth. And the stone was green, red, purple, and blue. And the stone was a pebble. Because look how big the animal is. And the stone was a hill. Because look how tiny the little bug is. And the stone was a feel. And the stone was a smell. See, the stone is different things to different animals. And it sat where it sat with the water, grass, and dirt. And it was as it was where it was in the world. And the stone was the wild. And the stone was a home. And the stone was a kitchen. And the stone was a throne. And the stone was a marker and a map and a maze. A danger, a haven, a story, a stage. And the stone was a blink. And the stone was an age. And the stone was an island. And the stone was a wave. So you can see as it's changing through time. Look. And the stone was a memory. And the stone was always. Have you ever known such a place? Where with water, grass, and dirt, a stone sits still in the world. The end. So this is a great story because sometimes things are as it is and as you change and your perspective change, you feel differently about places, but a stone sat still. This is a great, great story. So I hope you're having a great day and that you're having a great week and tomorrow's Friday uh, and we'll have another online story time. Have a great night.